what's up guys and today I am so sorry Skyrander I am such a dick for doing this um, but I just thought it was hilarious uh, he's doing this UU thing um, his link will be in the description below so make sure you check him out and he was looking for UU battles I think he still is actually um, but he's not very good at it because it's like his first time playing it type thing and <laughs> I kind of this is this is this will embarrass him maybe I don't know but yeah, whatever. Um, make sure you hit that like button. Try and get this video to five likes. I won't ruin it, but you're gonna see throughout the battle what goes on. Um, but yeah, hit the like button. Comment as well. Um, if you have an R U N U U T, make sure you put it in the comments. I will reply. I love you. Oh my god. <laughs> Stuff like that. Whatever. Um, let's get straight into this battle. Wait, actually no. Yeah, yeah. Let's get straight into this battle. There's no need for team preview this time because I don't know. I probably should have. That's a 6-0 victory. <laughs> That's a 6-0 body bag, I think you call it, against Sky. Oh my god, please check out his channel. I feel really bad. If you don't check out his channel, I'll feel even worse. But he's a really good player. Don't let that match make you think any like bad of him. He's really new to UU. He, he, he always plays N-U-R-U. So if you like that stuff, definitely go check him out. Um, He's skyrocketing up with the subs at the moment. Get it, Sky? <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, GG, Sky. Um, I'll see you guys later. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you make me lose like that? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I'll never get over this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Descarander. So as you guys saw, that was a terrible display of uh, my abilities in the beginning of this week. Uh, that was my first UV battle, and it was definitely against the opponent that I has been fearing a lot actually. Jack or Yabai Mewal is one of the like, best battlers I know, and is a good friend of mine, and probably my... Horus person to actually battle because there were really a time where I actually win against him and you saw why I mean it was a fast paced battle and I just sped it up because I just wanted to see you how terrible I did I have a fair chance against him in NU and RU but when it comes to the higher tiers he is beyond my abilities and uh, I hope to redeem myself uh, but I can't promise anything I really can't he's such a good battler he has taken on Mulbone without any problem and he has been taking on a fairly um, a lot amount of people that actually are regarded as a really, really good player on, on YouTube. So he is a really good player, and um, I don't really know how to explain it. Like I said, he is my, pretty much my rival, because we have been doing this for equal amount of time. We both started off in December and been posting battles, and I, yeah, I think that's about it. I want to go through his team a little bit. Um, the thing we can go through is... 
he has his drapey on there. Um, I don't know what to expect. I know these things carrying a knockoff for sure, uh, but that's really about it. And I got Saita, obviously, it's his uh, Evil Eye Poke, uh, Raikou, big threat, always a big threat. Uh, Arcanine, I think th this is the one that I faced before. It's a special set, Arcanine, and it worked so well that it opened up the game wide open our last game. So now I know what I'm in for. And Blastoise, I do expect it to be the Mega Poke. And Aesulf, which is what I actually think it will start off with. Uh, I myself is using Regirock. It's a Soul Visit. Nothing special about it, really. It can wall anything. And it's only about to actually stop whatever comes in and try to hurt it. Uh, Slurpuff with the um, Unburden ability and Red Card special sets works really well. Um, Really, really mean poke when it gets to set up. My arm for us, which is the mega poke. Uh, nothing special about it, really. It has the guilty, which means it can outspeed almost anything ex except Axel Gore. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> but yeah, really, really strong. 150 base special attack is ridiculous already. And Chestnut, which is a new set that I've been <laughs> using. It's I call him Sentinel. And, well, he has the Assault Vest with, um, yeah, different kind of uh, attacks. Let's see here. But it's using, like, the lower sweep to get down the speed and then just uh, finish whatever comes in. Great Pokemon to fret out pokes and just annihilate them. And Odino, which is a supporter, and Empoleon for Defog. Because I knew after battling uh, Jack the last time that the only way he wins is because he set up hazards. So I needed something to stop those hazards, and Empoleon was the guy for that, and it covers a lot of grounds. So yeah, with that in said, let's actually see how I actually fed out here. So anyway, I do expect him to start off with the Aesil, and uh, well, I'm gonna start it off with Regirock because I know we can wall it. I can pretty much sack Regirock if it, if it turns out that it's an also blood set. So I'm just gonna go for some damage, and he started off with Reflect. So that is kind of telling me that it is most likely, and I'm going to say this like very firm, that that is the setup where it's going to go for Reflect, Light Screen, Stealth Rocks. So yeah, I did not expect that to come from our 8 self, I do expect it to come from Uxie. So anyway, now I know for sure that most likely have no attacks to attack me with. So it's going to go for Stealth Rocks, and I'm going to go for my Empoleon, pretty much just going for the Defog. So it shows me the last one we got, and yeah, this is the U-turn. So now I know this poke is not a threat. Not afraid at all, just a fla fast setup. -er. So, anyway, I can't do anything really over against Reiko. Um, I do expect it to be the event Reiko with Aura Sphere. I don't want to say, like I said there, even though I can take and Volt Switch, I'm not entirely sure <laughs> I can use my Empoleon after a hit like that. So, I'm going to go into my Chestnut or Sentinel just to take that Volt Switch like Rodwell, or at least I fought. That is too much damage for a um, fully special defensive uh, <laughs> uh, Chestnut, so I'm most likely it is specs, so I can't really deal with it. So anyway, he'll pull up an early ace here, and I get the static. Yeah, it's going to matter this game, it's going to <laughs> sadly cripple uh, Saita a lot there. So anyway, I, do, I did expect him to switch out, and power, even if it didn't, power gem is going to do super effective damage against um, Saita. So yeah, I just went for that, and I do just around half there. The leftovers will recover him up there, so I can't really stay in. Uh, and <laughs> he don't want to stay in either. Uh, so like I said, I did decide to switch out because... Well, I don't want my um, Ampharos to get too much damage really. So I did expect him to bring something that could go hyper offensive, so I kind of hope that he was gonna switch out there. So, a misprediction on my side, because I'll go for Rock Slide, and that does not do enough. So I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide here. Uh, I know I can take another, like, Aura Sphere, and uh, I see no reason to stay in. Kind of surprised me that he didn't go for the Volt Switch, but I just realized the most likely this spec set, so that is definitely the reason why, right? So anyway, there's a Blastoise. I did expect it to be a Mega Form, so I'm just gonna go for um, my Odino here to take whatever comes my way. Pretty much second it actually. But here he reveals he's the toxic set, which means I have no problem dealing with this guy. I can wall it all day long. So Drapion is coming in. I have no idea what this guy will do. Uh, I do expect a knockoff or something like that. So I'm going to decide to switch out to Ridge Rock because I can take whatever like physical hits come this from this guy. 
but that's about it really. I didn't, like I said, I did expect go for a knockoff here, and he will catch me off guard here with a whirlwind. Uh, and well, that wish will be really wasted. Uh, so going over a toxic here, I just tried to set up uh, Call Mind. I know they're probably gonna go for a whirlwind next turn. I was kind of hoping to try to attack me, so I get the red card activated, so you can switch him out. Uh, that is not what happens. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a dazzling gleam here. And I'll say do fair damage, I mean almost like 40% maybe at most, and Whirlwind will take away from there. Um, Drapion is really really hard to deal with because it's so bulky. So I'm gonna show um, me while here that I got the Earthquake, so he will decide to switch out, and I'll actually expect that. So I'm gonna go for a low sweep just to get like the speed off for whatever comes in. Sadly it is the Scyther. And even though I'm faster, I have no rock moves, so I can't hit it. Uh, so I have to get out of there. So I'm going to Clean. Do expect the Earlates coming off my way there. I take it fairly well. I mean, that is like 25% at most. So I'm just going to go for a Wish here. I do expect him to switch back into his Drapion. Um, I know he want to get those knockoff and pretty much just shut down my Audino. Oh, right, I went for a um, Heal Belt, obviously. Getting the Toxins off for a few folks there. And then I actually decide to go for a Wish there. I kind of want him to go for Whirlwind at this point, but obviously that is not what he's going to decide to do. And because Audino has to regenerate, so pretty much means that I don't really care how much damage this guy <laughs> like takes, because he pretty much is back in business after a, a switch out. So anyway, I'm going to go to my Mold Breaking uh, <laughs> Mega Ampharos, obviously getting like um, Whirlwind out of there, and well, Regirock is back on track. Yeah. That is kind of the bad thing with uh, Whirlwind. It works well when you go over the Toxic and stuff like that. But the sad part is it doesn't work that well. So anyway, I did show the Earthquake there. So I'm gonna expect him to switch out. So I'm gonna decide to do that myself. Because, well, I can't really two-shot it. And I, he did choose him to blast the last time and took real well. So anyway, I'm gonna try to threaten him. I just wanna see if it is a Toxic Protect Rapid Spin set. Uh, and he just showed me Protect, and I'm gonna show him that I got Thunderbolt, and I'm fully aware of actually killing him. So I'm gonna expect him to switch out this turn, so I'm gonna go for Agility, and pretty much just set up here. And it's going to be straight Raikou, which is a faster poke, you know, or it could be, if I didn't go for Agility. <clears throat> so right, now I'm faster than anything that comes into this play, and now start the Rampage. Raikou, get out of here! And this is what I talked about in my last battle, where you take away the first poke and, well, shit is going down. Shit is going down all the way. <laughs> so Drapion's coming in, and he can take the Thunderbolt, he is out of here. So right, the only things that are away right now is Blastoise, Aesil, and Orcanine. What can Orcanine do? It can actually survive this hit. Yeah, so you get the Willow Waves buff. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, there's only a minor issue, I guess. Because Arcanine, get out of here. We don't need to see you. Get out. So, right, that is Arcanine out of the way, so he's going into his ace of at this point. I did expect to go for a um, <laughs> light screen at this point, but you know, I'm faster, and you know, ace of, get out of here. Quick prick. So right, so the only thing we got left is the Blastoise, and um, I'm gonna outspeed it, and it's not gonna try to stall it out. And uh, well, yeah, <laughs> that will be GG. But I mean, other than that, um, I got my 6-0 revenge, <laughs> considering that last battle. But it is, as I said um, before, Meeval is definitely like one of my best friends here on, on YouTube. And he is a very, 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 very good battler. And the only reason I won was because I knew that he'd rely a lot on hazards. And, uh, well, Mega Ampharos wall a lot of shit. Yeah, I'm not like even kidding. He's actually walling like the basic stabs. You can't take an earthquake, but if you get um, <laughs> agility after, there's really nothing threatening you. Unless it's an Excel goal with uh, the final gambit, obviously. But other than that, I mean, good game, Jack. I mean it. I'm not gonna like bash on you because I I'm glad I actually managed to uh, well come up to your level, I guess. So, anyway, guys, thank you for this battle. 
and thank you for watching. I mean, wow, it was a very interesting battle, and everything just fall apart at the end there. So yeah, make Aphros his knight, his king. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and well, bye. Right.